Hey folks, this is Gregory Leifel over at the San Filippo Estate. I was taking apart a little music box and I thought I would uh, give you just a little uh, demonstration of how it works. Uh, this happens to be off of a older cigarette holder. This one is a reproduction model, so uh, this is plastic down here. Um, but it'll give you a good idea of how the mechanics work on this. Uh, just off the bat, inside this very round part here that says uh, made in Switzerland, uh, there is a spring that winds up. We have a key that goes into the bottom and winds the spring up tight. Out of the spring comes a shaft that holds the basically a pinned barrel, a barrel uh, that rotates. You can see it there. It's got the little bumps on it. Those bumps will move these notes. These are just tuned forks, low to, low to high. Um, over here, and we have, this is the start button. There is a button on the thing when you push, this is all apart folks. There's a button on here when you push this, essentially it's doing to do the same thing my finger does on here when I start it for you. When you push that in, this little the mechanism here has a spring that's pulling this whole shaft, this moves, that's pulling this whole shaft into this hole here. There's a hole in this uh, gear, and right now the point of that shaft is in the hole. When I push it, the spring's going to rotate towards the screwdriver head here in my hand, releasing the pressure of the this spring and start rotating the barrel. On the far end of the barrel, we have a lever that is going to go around and that would, in this case, move this, these, all these gears, these smaller gears and the lower gears, which in turn open and close the doors on this cigarette holder, which is upside down right now because I have it apart and I wanted to show you the bottom of it, the gear part. So uh, getting even closer, yeah, there's another series of springs down here and gears. Uh, the gears lead over to this vertical thread, threaded uh, shaft. And that little gear there is going to rotate and turn that shaft. On top of that shaft, there are two fins. Uh, that's the governor feature or an error uh, brake and it's uh, the resistance on it. Uh, will keep it steady as it rotates. Uh, there are openings in the spring thing to lubricate it. A couple openings there to lubricate the spring. So with that said, I'm going to push the button and you'll see how it operates. We've just released. You can see the hole in that gear as it goes around. It'll come and that little point will drop in to stop it. You can see the outer shaft going around to turn to open the doors on the uh, cigarette box. We saw the fin here um, that that stopped as well. When that piece, that point of this thing fell into the hole, uh, this, there's tension on that spring to pull it over when it hits the hole and it stopped the song. Real simple. Uh, it's a mechanical music box that the doors open and close on. And uh, just to give you a little sense, there is uh, the cigarettes would go here. This is upside down again. The cigarettes would go right in there. Uh, had it apart. Thought I'd show you. Thought you might find it interesting. Uh, these two big screws here. Uh, you're able to adjust, you, if when you loosen and tighten them, you're able to adjust the distance from the ends of those forks onto the uh, bumps on the pinned barrel. Uh, some of our bigger pinned barrel machines work in a similar manner. Rather than go directly to a tuned fork, uh, it goes to a function that will open and close a valve for a pipe to blow. Hope you found that interesting. Um, this is just a simple music box. Uh, this is a little larger one. 
beautiful back. So you can see it a little larger than uh, most you'd find at a gift shop. Um, but uh, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, Greg Life over at the San Filippo Estate uh, where we just love mechanical engineering. Thanks for watching.